ಹೇಳ್ತಾಳೆ What is going on folks? My name is Spice of the Spice Camp Fish. Today I've got another one year review for you guys. So if you guys have been around the channel for a little while, you guys might have seen a couple of these videos uh, previously. I usually do them around this time of the year. Uh, generally, uh, I'll buy a new rod or reel or something like that. I'll do a first impressions video on it. And then usually about a year or so after I get that, I do like a one year follow up where my final thoughts and impressions on it. That way I can have a really educated opinion to give you guys and uh, you guys can actually take my words to heart because you know that I've actually used this stuff for a good amount of time and actually have some good experience with it. Now today's video is actually going to be about this. This is the Shimano Ngetsu. It's a 100 size casting reel. It's from Japan. They're pretty uncommon reels. You don't hear a lot about them. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about them, especially in the United States. A lot of stuff that I've found about them is mostly Japanese. And they are kind of hard to get your hands on in the States. You have to order them from Japan and they have to get shipped over here. So it usually takes a while. They tend to be pretty expensive and uh, they're just kind of hard to get your hands on. So I've this reel for about a year or so now and uh, I actually got a comment on my old video about this reel uh, asking about what I think about it now. Uh, I actually gave that person uh, a little bit of my thoughts and opinions on it then but I figured I may as well do a video on it as well. And again I was planning on doing a one year review anyway on this reel so it was just perfect timing. I figured I'd just do it a little bit earlier than when I was planning on doing it. So I figured I'd sit down today and uh, give you guys my final thoughts and impressions on this really interesting piece of Japanese machinery. Before we get into the video, if you guys like the video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Also, if you guys want to see some more content from me, you can hit that subscribe button down below to see some more videos. But uh, yeah, we're going to get right into the review. I'll let you guys know my honest thoughts and opinions about this cool little reel. All right, folks, so let's get right into the review. I'm just going to go over some basic information about the reel real fast, just so you guys know in case you're curious. Uh, this is, again, the Shimano Ngetsu. It is the saltwater JDM version of the Casitas. Uh, it comes with this little bit larger handle, as you guys can see, a little bit different color on it. The Casitas are just like that silver color, whereas this is a black. It's kind of got like a little bit of a silver flake on it, too, which looks super cool, and just like some little red accents on it as well. This reel comes in two different gear ratios. It's a 5.5 to 1 gear ratio, which is a little bit slower. And then they also have this one, which is a 7.2 to 1 gear ratio. This is the 100 HG uh, version. So it is a 100 size spool and that's that HG uh, 7 speed gear. Again, it's a 100 size spool, so it's a very small reel. It's not really made for bigger baits and stuff. I usually throw uh, anywhere from like a quarter of an ounce to three eighths of an ounce size lures on here. Uh, I'll also throw like weightless baits on here. Sometimes I'll use it for like Senkos and Flukes as well, which will get into that a little bit more later but yeah because it is for like smaller size baits uh, it doesn't have a ton of drag it's only got like five and a half kilograms or like 12 ish pounds of drag uh, so not a ton but definitely enough to get it done for smaller pond hopping stuff like that as well as if you're throwing some lighter baits now, like I said, this is the saltwater version of the Casitas. Uh, I believe they did a few different things about it. I believe it's made out of a different material. This is made out of the CI4 uh, material, whatever that is. It's like a Shimano uh, exclusive material. They just make it in-house, and that's what they make a lot of their higher-end reels out of. Uh, it's supposed to be a little bit more lightweight and also a little bit more rigid. And that's something we'll talk about later as well, uh, as how the reel actually feels in hand. Uh, but again, that's something that we'll talk about in a little bit. Like I said, they're not super readily available in the United States. You have to buy them from overseas if you want to buy one, uh, but they aren't super, super expensive. They I bought mine for about $200. Uh, right now, I believe you can find them from in between $140 to like $170. So they have gone down a little bit in price. Other than the material that it's made out of, the different handle and uh, the different uh, color scheme on it, uh, it's pretty much the same thing as a normal Casitas, though. Uh, not super different. Uh, I'm not sure if the Casitas comes in 150 size, uh, but they're pretty much based off of the same model, so they're pretty much the exact same reel. Now, like I said, this is a 100 size reel, so I don't use it for a lot of really big stuff. 
I use it for a quarter of an ounce to three eighths of an ounce lures generally. Uh, you can throw stuff up to a half an ounce on it, probably up to even three quarters of an ounce. And just personally, I just feel like a little hundred size reel isn't the best thing to throw uh, those bigger three quarter half ounce size lures on. I feel like if you step that up to 150 size reel, you'll be a little bit more comfortable with it. You won't wear the gears out in the reel as fast and it'll just overall feel a little bit better for you. But this reel has actually been really useful for me. I use it a lot for pond hopping. Uh, it's one of my favorite reels to use for pond hopping. I actually pair it up with my seven foot medium heavy fast action. Uh, it's a favorite Phantom. Uh, it's the rig series Phantom. So it's a little bit heavier than the normal Phantom. But essentially it's just a seven foot medium heavy fast action. I use that to throw finesse jigs, uh, lighter Texas rigs, stuff like that. Uh, you can also throw like a spinner bait or chatter bait on that. It works pretty well. And this reel can handle all those really well. Uh, I notice it doesn't work with a spinnerbait as well for whatever reason. I just feel like uh, the spinnerbait has too much drag on it when it flies through the air. So it just doesn't work as well with the reel. Uh, that might also just be user error. But personally, I just haven't had as good luck using this for a spinnerbait. But everything else I use it for without any issues for the most part. And it's a great little reel for that. Uh, I don't, again, think it's probably made for that. Uh, I think it's made for like lighter baits and stuff like that. Uh, like I said, it's a hundred size. So uh, it's really just designed for those lighter baits and stuff, but quarter ounce, three eighths ounce Texas rigs, finesse jigs work really well for this reel. In the future, I could also see myself using this reel for weightless soft plastics, uh, like flukes, weightless Senkos, maybe like a wacky rig, stuff like that. Uh, it is really good at throwing light baits. Uh, I've thrown jerk baits on it as well. Small poppers works really well for all of those. Uh, just anything lighter, this reel really works well for. Uh, and that's, again, what I think it was mostly designed for is lighter style baits. Currently, I have this spooled up with uh, 12 pound fluorocarbon. Uh, I also could put like 30 pound braid on this. Uh, or like 12 pound mono if I really wanted to as well. But usually I keep 12 pound fluorocarbon on it. Again, like I said, I'm using it mostly for uh, stuff that either stays on the bottom or floats. Uh, so usually 12 pound fluorocarbon is what stays on this. Uh, I could probably even go down to 10 to fit a little bit more line on there. But I honestly feel like uh, a full spool with 12 pound fluorocarbon on this thing is absolutely perfect for pond topping. And uh, if you're just throwing on like lighter Texas rigs or finesse jigs and stuff like that. But yeah, I really, really like this reel. This is probably my, um, yeah, I'd probably say my second favorite uh, Shimano. It's kind of hard for me to rank my Shimanos. I like all of them for the most part. Uh, the Shimano SLX DC isn't the best anymore, but uh, all of my other Shimanos seem to be working super well, so I can't really say that I dislike any of them. But I do really like the Ingetsu. It's a little bit more of a uh, like niche kind of reel as opposed to like a Corrado or something like that, which is a little bit more uh, across the board. You can use it for whatever you want. Uh, but just for me personally, I really like it. It's just something that a lot of people can't get their hands on or just haven't. Uh, and it's not something that a lot of people actually even know about. And that just makes me like the reel even more so. On top of the uh, performance of it, I also just like the exclusivity of owning one. And all that being said, I have noticed it has gotten a little bit grindy on me. Uh, I don't know if I've maybe gotten some sand in one of the bearings or something like that, or maybe it just needs like a good like service or whatever. I don't really clean or service any of my reels, which is absolutely terrible. You guys should always service your reels. I'm just lazy and I, I don't really care to be honest. But I feel like a good service on this thing and it would be right back to where it should be. Uh, it is just a little bit grindy at the moment, but doesn't really hinder the performance at all. It just makes a little bit of a noise, which is kind of annoying if that bothers you. Just doesn't really bother me all that much. Uh, I kind of beat my stuff up as you guys can probably tell this thing is uh, not in the best condition. There's like scratches and marks and stuff all over it. It's covered in dirt and dust and whatnot. So it's not in the best condition. It's not really taken care of very well, but I, I just don't really take the time to, uh, you know, take my stuff apart and clean it the way that I probably should. So, but yeah, I guess I'll kind of wrap up the video with like my final thoughts and opinions on this thing. So things I really do like about this thing. I like the way it looks. I think it looks sick. Uh, it doesn't really matter how your gear looks, but just for me personally, I really like that black with a little bit of red on it. I think that looks sweet. I also really like the bigger handle. It gives you a little bit more winching power and it's just a little bit more comfortable. These bigger knobs are pretty comfortable in the hand and I just really like them. I also like the way it fits in your hand. Uh, it's 100 size, so it's a little bit smaller, so it fits in your hand really, really well. And then on top of that, the rod that I have it paired up with is pretty comfortable as well. So the two of those just are pretty much a perfect match and uh, just really sits on the rod super well and sits in your hand really well. So I like that as well. It's also a super durable reel. It feels really durable. Uh, like I said before, it's made out of that CI4 material. So it's a little bit stronger than your average reel. Uh, and it's also super light. So it doesn't really add a lot of weight to the reel, which uh, makes it a little bit less fatiguing on you during the day. I don't really notice that to be an issue for me at least, but uh, 
maybe if you're a little bit older or you have something wrong with your arms or something, that might make a big deal for you. So if you want a little bit of a lighter reel, it's also super strong. This is a good option. A couple things I don't really like about the reel as much. Uh, it doesn't really have that big of an impact on the overall performance of the reel. Uh, it's just some things that you should know. Uh, first of all, it is grinding for me right now. That's again, probably just something that I did. Uh, I, I just feel like I probably got some sand or some dirt in it or something. So that's nothing that I can really dock the reel for. That's just something that I did because I don't know how to take care of my stuff. The fact that it's a hundred size reel is also a little bit annoying sometimes. Uh, I can't really fit a ton of line on here. So I have to go a little bit lighter on my line. Uh, I generally like to fish 15 pound on Texas rigs and magic and stuff like that. But I've had to switch down to 12 for this. I haven't noticed that much of an issue yet. Uh, if I start breaking off and some heavier cover and stuff like that, I might switch over to 15 pound or switch over to 30 pound braid which might be a little bit stronger and also a little bit smaller diameter which would also help me keep a little bit more line on the spool and help me cast a little bit further but yeah it's just not a great reel for like super long casts and stuff like that so i wouldn't recommend it for like crankbaits or spooks or top waters anything that you want to make a long cast with uh, it's not the best reel for that the only other thing that kind of bothers me about this reel is the fact that it has only 12 pounds of drag uh, it's not a ton it doesn't really make that much of a difference to be honest uh, especially if you're fishing for small fish like i am or fishing small ponds or something uh but i i do kind of wish i had a little bit more winching power to it uh I, I just don't really think it has that much power especially if you're fishing somewhere with some heavy cover like some grass or something you really want that extra winching power to be able to pull those fish out of it and sometimes 12 pounds is a little bit sketchy especially if you're fishing somewhere with like some heavy cover like some wood or some grass or something uh you really probably want some more drag than that just fish fighting a fish with 12 pounds of drag is a little bit sketchy around that stuff when you want to try and winch them out of there but overall i really do like this reel i think it's a great little reel uh, if you're trying to find a new reel for some finessier stuff again lighter texas rigs jigs uh weightless soft plastics i would highly suggest this if you can get your hands on them especially right now they don't seem to be as expensive as they used to be i would really suggest it they're really cool uh they're just not really easy to get your hands on so if you're like me and you like that exclusive feel when you have something that not a lot of other people have i would highly suggest picking up this reel it's a cool little jdm reel uh, if you guys are looking for a little entry level ish reel for that uh, this is a good option uh, it is a little bit more on the expensive side again 150 dollars isn't an inexpensive reel by any stretch of the imagination but some of these jdm reels get up to three four five hundred dollars so if you guys are looking for a little bit more of a lower price point so it's JDM, a little bit exclusive, hard to get, and uh, makes you look a little bit cooler than everybody else on the bank. I would highly suggest that you can get it too. But yeah, I think it's going to do it for today's review. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope I was able to shed some light on this reel for y'all and give you guys some educated opinions and thoughts on it. If you guys like this style of video and you guys want to see some more one-year reviews, uh, let me know. If you guys also have some products that you guys want me to try and do a one-year review on, let me know down in the comment section as well. And I'd, I'll try my best to get my hands on a couple of them. No guarantees, but I'll see what I can do. But yeah, I think it's going to do it for me. I'll check and wreck them and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.